I imagine there's a big Liverpool list of midfielders and he's near the bottom of it. And if they get that far down, if they think they need one, it's probably a relatively easy, easy deal to do, I'd have thought. Um, he, yeah, he was, I, I, I always think Leicester, Leicester got very, I think Leicester were really, really adversely affected when you think about when the whole way that football stopped with uh, COVID because Leicester had a squad full of so many exciting players, think about Tielemans and Madison and everyone. And they were all at their peak, you know, and, and, and it was kind of like, okay, they probably would have sold on some of these players, including Ndidi. Um, they, there was a chance there to, to move out some of these players for what would have been huge money at the time. I think Ndidi could have gotten to most sides at, at one point. And then everything happened, you know, and of the value and of the value of a lot of the players dropped and then it's ended in their relegation. It's ended in the likes of Tielemans leaving on the free, Madison leaving for possibly on the cheaper side for, for, for what he uh, people think he'd be worth. So indeed he is, would be a, a decent option in the squad for Liverpool. But as I say, I imagine he's near the foot of, of the list, of a big long list. It's been a funny summer with Liverpool because they, started it so well with McAllister and with Soboslai who's been a superb addition but it's just gone stale and and I think as well as the midfield I think defence is an issue as well especially now Van Dijk will face a suspension probably more than one game um, after his red card you've got injuries there you know you, uh, Canate Canate never seems to be far away from an injury Joel Matip picks up injuries Joe Gomez picks up injuries they're bringing on the, the young lad there Quanser against Newcastle to see out the game which they they did incredibly well, but can you rely on that every week? Um, so I think I think Liverpool have a bit to do, and I think has to be a midfielder and a defender for me, at least. Uh, I, I think otherwise they are in real danger of going into this sort of rest of the season quite short. Um, the midfield, as you say, has looked a bit odd. Um, nobody nobody could have expected what happened in terms of Henderson and Fabinho, and they couldn't turn that money down. But they haven't really done anything with it, and and it's and it's a case of you know, yes, they brought in Endo, um, the, the Japanese lad, for a sort of sixteen million, but that's a signing they could have made at any point. So no, there, there needs to be there needs to be some movement in Liverpool, and otherwise, I think they could be in danger. And um, as I say, I, for me, it's it's a midfielder and a defender. If it's indeed the midfielder, okay, but it wouldn't necessarily be the top of your list, would he?